What's up, guys? It's Cam from Six Year Sports here, breaking the Sage Hit Premier Draft 2020 High Series. Uh, we got a couple of uh, interesting things here today. Our first box break over on uh, Six Year Sports here, cracking this box. This is uh, the Sage Hit Draft product. They release these in two separate uh, releases, the low series cards, so the ones... Uh, the base card's numbered one through, I think, 60 or something along those lines. Uh, this is the first box of the high series that we've been able to get our hands on with uh, the new the new craze. So got a pre-order here. Don't know how these are going to go. Four autographs guaranteed in this uh, Hobby Blaster box here. So not a, not the best product by any stretch of the imagination. I think Panini's got that market cornered, but Sage does have a pretty good product. Get some pretty interesting cards here that they preview for us. Uh, some of these on-card autos that they tease. Maybe not going to find one of these, but, uh, you know, we'll crack into it, see what we can get. Uh, maybe get lucky with a couple of, a Burrow, an autograph or two from one of the quarterbacks, Burrow, Tagovailoa, uh, one of those guys that went the first round here now that we know their draft spot. So, crack it open here. Sage has a unique way of doing their things here. It looks like a, the high series is a little bit different. So they're going to open up here. You're going to know which ones are your blaster base cards, and then the other ones are going to be your autos and parallels. So they... You know, the previous ones, the low series, they actually had them in just clear cellophane. So you open them up, pour them out, and you you already saw what you were going to get. So this already looks a little bit nicer. Let's go ahead and see what we got here. So we have the 2020 high series. These are going to be our autographs and then our parallels that they're going to give us. Uh, there's going to be a silver parallel base, a couple of those uh, for our base cards. So let's crack in to the base, though. Let's get this out of the way first. Let's see what we can get our hands on, what athletes are in the, the high series. So... Got a little uh, Lucky Jackson. So we'll go through these pretty quickly. Tay Crowder from Georgia. Of course, you'll, you're going to notice here these are going to be, they don't have the exclusive rights to the NCAA logos. So these are going to be pictures with the the logos removed. They'll say the school on the back in, in some form or another. Uh, but they're going to be really good pictures that they've chosen uh, so that they the, their graphic designers have to do as little as possible to remove the logos there to uh, to allow them to, to be able to be within the restraint there. So... Michael Petway, Raekwon Davis as well. So see other images too. They're going to choose not going to be uh, where they have to remove things. So like it. They're a unique product. There's our Joe Burrow base card though. That one's going to be a cool one to keep obviously uh, for many, many reasons. Mainly because he was the first overall pick. Mainly because he's the Heisman Trophy winner. The most decorated college football season by a quarterback in some time. So we'll, we'll put that one up over here. Cover up our most recent box that we broke of the uh, Panini Collegiate Series of FSU. So our most recent hits, Kenny Willekes, Cole Kmet, Kyle Duggar, AJ Terrell. So again, you're going to see a bunch of these images that you've never really seen before of these guys. Looks like some of their workouts as well with their agents. So AJ Dillon, Steven Montez, Zach Moss. So this already seems a little bit better than the low series. Low series had a couple of Division Two, Division Three guys that kind of never really you never really heard of until draft time. So Tommy Stevens as well. David Woodward, one of the better linebackers over the past few years in college. T. Higgins, Clemson receiver. Ross Blacklock, Ashton Davis from Cal. Henry Ruggs, the fastest guy at the Combine this past offseason as well. Jeremy Chin. Chase Claypool, the Notre Dame receiver. The human joystick himself, K.J. Hamler from Penn State. So again, this high series already looking like a much better product. Carter Coughlin from Minnesota, great, great defensive end. Kenneth Murray, you know, they traded up to pick him in the in the draft. Linebacker prospect Isaiah Simmons, this guy does it all. Should have won the Paul Horning Award for Mr. Versatile a year ago, but hey, we'll not get into that. Patrick Taylor Jr., Caleb on Chase on, Brandon Ayuk, Jerry Judy. These names, these athletes here on this high series are absolutely ridiculous compared to to the guys on the low series not gonna lie already a much better pack might have to get a few more of these isaiah hodgins from oregon state he was the best receiver in the red zone in college football a year ago desmond patman washington state khalil tate is faster than most people on an nfl field i will tell you that now dj dallas from miami aj epineza and stephen calvert liberty buckshot calvert Love this guy and what he brought to the table at Liberty. So here we go. Now we have some of our the inserts. We'll get into those as well here now. Burrow, five-star high school star. That is him at Athens High School where he won Mr. Ohio Football. Uh, Joe Burrow looks like an off-season workout photo from him in his debut season. Another Steven Montez. We'll put these Burrows back here, though, because love those. There's another one of these burrows, the trophy room, and then the next level talent. So it looks like we got all the four of the five star. I think there's five of those, so we'll have to be on the lookout for one of those. 
Uh, next level, Justin Jefferson. Next level, two attack of Iloa. Love that one too. And then a Cam Akers adds nicely to the FSU collection. DeAndre Swift next level, Jordan Love next level, and then a CeeDee Lamb next level. So these are all, again, big name guys. These are, you know, had the chance to be some, some playmakers in the NFL as well. So these are also good ones here, these inserts, but the real money maker, the real deal here, the Blaster Auto Parallels. Again, this is already a much better product than last year or the, the low series that was just clear cellophane. You had no idea what you were getting yourself into. They just kind of flopped out of nowhere and they weren't really wrapped very well. So let's open up our autos here see what we got jonathan taylor silver base parallel i don't know what the odds are on these i don't think they explicitly state them as well but these are so far so good t higgins with a silver base parallel jerry judy a silver base parallel lucky jackson tay crowder khalid kareem la michael petway chris or ross blacklock Another Kenny Willekes, Cole Kmet, Kyle Duggar, AJ Terrell. A lot of the guys we just got, obviously, there's not a whole lot of athletes represented uh, through their card number series, so you're going to have a lot of repeats. But either way, like those silver base parallels as well. Another Jordan Love next level and another Tua next level. Did we get more Burrows? Did we get another one? We did not. We have another dupe. So here we go. I see our autos. Again, there's four in every one of these Hobby Blaster boxes. So here's hoping... We get to the, you know, we get some money makers there. Another uh, Kenneth Murray and a Carter Coughlin. So here we are. We're to the autograph. So it's a nice product. This is, um, I believe, yeah. So we have we have all four right here. I think the red is their autograph parallel. So we'll let's just slide one in here to not ruin the surprise. This is Lucky Jackson from Western Kentucky. It's a nice autograph, nice sticker autograph for these cards. Look looks as well. Big congratulations on the back. So we'll throw that. And a top loader and a sleeve. We'll get that taken care of. Lucky Jackson had a great career at Western Kentucky. Struggled with some quarterback play over the years. Uh, not his fault at all, but Lucky had a great career at Western Kentucky as well. And then now let's go to the next one here. Looks like Desmond Patman as well. Another red parallel for their autographs as well. This was, uh, you know, great season in the uh, air raid offense as he became sort of the next guy up uh, with Aesop Winston as well. Gardner Minshew throwing in the ball, Anthony Gordon. All right, some technical difficulties, but we are back. I was saying Anthony Gordon, Gardner Minshew throwing Patman the ball. He had pretty awesome quarterbacks his past two years uh, and the last year for Mike Leach in that air raid offense at Washington State. Let's keep it moving on down the list here. Another one receiver to the black autograph. I think these are the base autos as well. So we got two parallel autographs, which are pretty nice, all things considered. Uh, four and one in every box here and you get two of them that are the parallels so that's a nice one Aaron Brewer this is a lineman from Texas State not sure uh, where he got drafted or how he got drafted if it was undrafted or not so uh, productive lineman for the Bobcats there they get overlooked often uh, the smallest program in Texas but the Bobcats are definitely a program on the rise Brewer was one of the, the probably the key cogs in getting them back to uh, you know some Sunbelt prominence winning some Sunbelt games so our last autograph here Davion Taylor linebacker from Colorado loved what he brought to the table at Colorado got overlooked because Colorado's lackluster season the past few years with Montez hot or cold but Davion Taylor actually I like these autographs here Taylor and Aaron Brewer you can actually read out their whole entire names, whereas some of these other ones, you know, you, you, you don't get so lucky sometimes. So there we are. All of our four autographs, all of our hits lined up for us. The premier draft Sage hit 2020 high series. I think it's success. Joe Burrows, Cam Akers for the, for the personal collection. So we'll have to see what other box breakers get and see which ones of these, these signatures here are going to be the, uh, the ones that they put in the majority of the boxes uh, and are not quite so rare. So either way, a good box. Great for your value, too. Great for gifts as well, but also great for, you know, if you're starting out a collection. So like what they have to offer in this box much better than the low series. Thanks for joining. I uh, will see you again.